Hey, what's up everybody? John the Drummer here. It's been a while since I've done a walkthrough of my drum set, or my drum room, whatever you want to call it, here. Um, and I've been getting a lot of requests from my subscribers about an updated video, so let's get to it. Uh, this is my setup that I've been using for the last uh, few months or so. It's a uh, still the same set that I've had for the last 11 or 12 years. It's the Mapex VX series. Got the nice, probably can't see it too well, but a nice glossy black finish to it. Um, got my three rack toms there, the 10, 12, 13 inch, and the uh, 16 inch uh, floor tom. Uh, this right here is probably the newest piece of equipment that I have in this video. It is my Mapex Black Panther Sledgehammer snare drum. I bought it a couple years ago, probably before one of the last shows I played after my band took a little bit of a break. Anyway, I bought it before that show and it just, it sounds phenomenal live, it sounds great. Super deep tone, but a nice crack to it as well. Exactly what I've been looking for for years. So I used to have the pork pie, the, the acrylic pig light snare drum. And that was good, but it started to get really, I don't know, it was losing a lot of its tone. It still sounds good, but this guy here is just amazing. Uh, the the heads that I use on my toms, they're all Remo heads. I've been doing Remo for quite a few years now. All the toms have Emperor on the batter heads, Emperor drum heads, clear ones. And I haven't changed the bottom heads yet, but I'm going to change those to Ambassadors to give them a nice, nice huge tone. They're good now, but they could be a little better. On the snare drum, I can't see it right now, but I have the Ambassador coated on the snare drum. It's just a one ply, <clears throat> excuse me, just a one ply snare head that helps get a nice crack out of the snare. It helps just make it sound as good as it can. Um, bass drum heads. These don't really matter since I trigger my bass drums, but when I can't though it's still nice to have good heads, but they are the Power, Sto Power Stroke 3 bass drum heads. Double kick. <clears throat> And then for my pedals, same pedals I've been using for quite a few years now, but the Axis, the long boards. I'm going to turn off the snare because my voice is echoing. <laughs> but yeah, the long board Axis pedals, I finally have, I guess, mastered them as good as I can. And I still am using the uh, Axis E-Kits. This little hammer hits the box, and that's the drum trigger. Um, much more reliable than a D-drum trigger. I used to have one sitting around that I could show you guys here, but those ones just connect to the rim of the bass drum. The wires break so easily. I've gone through maybe four of them, and it just wasn't worth it after a while. <clears throat> so that's it for the drums and everything, so let's hop over to the cymbals. I've kind of um, narrowed down how many cymbals I have. I used to have two extra ones over here. But I took those off and took them down to my drum set that I use at my guitarist's house where my band practices at. So I used to have a 12 inch splash right here. Right here was a pair of a 14 inch AAX, um, just another pair of hi-hats. And, you know, they're fun to use. It gives me more variety, more stuff to use when I'm playing a show, but at the same time they get in the way. It's hard to make them fit in this little area here, so you know, I just took them off and it's it works so far. So anyways, for the symbols that I am using on this kit, uh, we're going to start off here with the 14 inch AA Metal X hi-hats. I've had these for years, as you can tell by how worn out they are. But, you know, they're good, good symbols and they still sound really good. Up here we got the, uh, how big was this? 17 inch Excuse me, 17 inch extreme china. Probably the symbol I use the least. It's just in a weird spot that I don't go to very much when I play. But has a good trashy tone. Exactly what it's used for. Down here, surprisingly, is a little 6 inch B8 splash. It sounds good for a B8. I have I got this eight years ago and it's just barely starting to crack on the uh, inner 
edge there, as you can see. And um, moving on, we've got the AAX Explosion Fast Crash, 16 inch. Not much to say about that. Right here, a 10 inch AAX Splash. I think another new one since my last video. I've always liked having two splashes up front. Figure it's about time to do that again. Right here, the AAX Air Splash, 10 inch. Starting to crack two after my last show. Right there, if you can see, oh, right there too. That sucks. Um, great sounding cymbals though. Minus the cracked sound. Up here, AAX Explosion Crash, 17 inch. Right here is another China. I like to, as you can tell, I like to double up on stuff. Two crashes, two Chinas. <laughs> Anyways, a Metal X, or yeah, just a Metal China, 18 inch, right there. And this used to say, um, I think 22 inch Metal X ride, I think. I've had this thing for 12 years or so now. Still sounds great, still using it. So that's all my symbols. And Drumsticks that I'm using are the Vader 5B sticks. I've been using these for years. Um, sometimes I do the Power 5B, a little heavier. Um, when it comes to hardware, uh, I'm not too picky on the hardware. I mean, I like all my cymbals to be the same brand, all my drum heads to be the same brand, all my drums to be the same brand. Hardware, not so much. Um, I kind of have a mix of Gibraltar with the hi-hat stand and my rack, which you can kind of see there. <clears throat> and then, you know, some Mapex cymbal stands, some Premier. I think this is a Tama arm on this cymbal. Uh, yeah, just just a, a cluster of different brands. I have my Pacific Drum Throne right here. I bought this thing 13 years ago, probably. 12 years, I don't know. But it's starting to wear out. It gets really loose easily, but still comfortable as ever. So we're going to hop over to the electronics on my drum set. Uh, this here is my Alesis DM5 drum module, which is what I run my triggers through uh, to produce the sound. It's not plugged in right now, but I've had this thing for quite a few years, 10, maybe 9 years, and it's still working. Uh, down here, another newer thing is my PreSonus Audiobox 1818 VSL, um, whatever they're called. I'm kind of brain farting right now, but this is what I used to record. Um, all my microphones go in there. I just run my triggers directly into it. Much easier to record that way. But yeah, it has eight inputs, which is perfect for my kit. You know, one for the bass drum. Uh, four for the toms, snare drum, and then the two overheads. So it's perfect. And then if you want to see my microphones I use, they are all Audix microphones. Get all the shadow here. Uh, this here, or these two here, are the uh, overhead ones. The model is the ADX51. This here is for my floor tom, which is the D4. It has a little red tint inside of it, I guess you can call it. All my rack toms use the D2 microphone. This here is for the bass drums. I haven't used it yet. I have another one here. That's the D6 bass drum. Uh, another D2 and D2. And this guy here is for my snare drum, which is the I5 for the snare microphone. <coughs> the the um, microphones, they sound really good. I've used them to record two albums so far, and they sound great. Um, they pick up everything nicely, especially the overheads. I don't even have to mic my hi-hat. You know, it's having an overhead right there. It just It picks it up perfectly. A little hard to edit, but, you know, it still sounds great. cuts through. So, I think that's everything. In case you want a quick rundown. Mapex drums, Sabian cymbals, Alesis DM5, blah, blah, blah. Everything there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was everything you were expecting from a drum walkthrough of mine. 
And yeah, check out all my bands if you get the time. Got Funeral Age, Dalla Nebbia, and Mesmer. Thanks guys, check out all my uh, videos, check out my bands, and thanks for watching. See you later.